Well, hello, uh, friends. Um, uh, my name is Richard Martin. Uh, we're here in Mashuru in Kenya, in the heart of Maasai land. And I have with me my, my good friend, the Reverend Daniel Lomanak, and, and the international director, Joanne Rono. Uh, Joanne actually lives uh, and works in England, but she is Kenyan. Um, and my friend Daniel is from, from the Maasai people. And uh, he has been working here with the Maasai for a number of years. So Daniel, how, how long have you uh, spread the gospel amongst the Maasai? The Reverend Daniel Omnyak, Niko Hapa Mashuru, Mass Island, Nafanya Kazi na Uduma Ya Rise and Shine Sanctuary, Koi Ministries. His names are Reverend Daniel Lomniak, and he serves here in the Ministry of Quem International Christ Wisdom Evangelistic Ministry, yeah, in Mashuru. Tulianza uduma hii miaka ishiri na bili liopita, na tumekuwa tukifanya kazi ndani ya Masai Land, ndani ya Masai, na pia katika taifa hila Kenya kwa ujumla. He started the ministry 22 years ago, and he's been working in the heart of Masai Land among the Masai people. Wow, 22 years, that's that's quite a time. So what what age were you when you started? He started when he was 16 years old. Wow. <laughs> 16 years. So you were still as a still in high school when you when you started coming here and reaching the people. Yeah, he was in the first uh, first class of high school, secondary school when he started. You're still in school, yeah. That's brilliant. Mm. Tell me, what what do you think are the needs within uh, Mashuru? Um, well, first of all, how many people are in Mashuru, roughly? Mujiwa uh, Mashuru, una watu karibu elfu tatu kwa jumla. There's around 3,000 people in Mashuru. And the, the, the land around Mashuru has the Maasai people, is that correct? Yeah, Mashuru is eneo la Maasai, na Maasai ndio naisi hapa. This is like Maasai land in the depth of Maasai land and the Maasai people live in the town and outside the town. Mm. <clears throat> well, we have just been here for the uh, 21st School of Fire. It's been going for 21 years. Uh, it's been a very successful uh, conference, a week-long conference here with pastors from different parts of Kenya came here, singers from different parts, teachers from America, from the UK. Uh, and it's been a tremendous conference. The conference is now finished, um, but I just want to ask uh, Pastor Daniel, what are the needs of the church at this moment in time? What do you believe are the needs? What are the needs of, of, of that you need and the church needs in Maasai land? Asante. Kwa sasa, tiyo tumemaliza mkutano wa 21, School of Fire Conference, na baadhi ya maitaji ya kwanza ni kupanua kanisa, kwa sababu kanisa inakuwa ndogo na watu wanakuwa wingi wanyalaudhuria. Na pia tunahitaji ya kujenga vyumba vya kulala ndio watu wapate mahali pa kulala. Okay, uh, we've, we've just finished the 21st School of Fire Conference and the great need is to uh, create more room for people to be able to come and sleep and uh, uh, and get room to like there are people outside during the meeting because the place is so small. Yeah, to expand it. That's uh, one of the big needs. And I saw that. I saw that there were people hanging out the windows. Yeah. People couldn't get in. Mm. Uh, so it, it seems to be a need of building, mm. uh, building of church, uh, in, in enlargement of church, rooms for people to sleep by the sounds of it, yeah. uh, cooking facilities. Because you cooked yesterday. How many people did we feed on Sunday, do you think? Kamajana, tukimalizia, tulikuwa na watu katia miaine, paka miatano. There were around 400 and 500 people in the in the meeting every day. Wow. And yesterday as well. Mm. And and the people here, the church cooks food for all these people and they get fed. Mm. Um, so you can see the church behind you. Uh, we won't move the camera, but you can see it. And and this church structure. How long has this church been here for? This this structure. Jengo hili limekuwa pa kwa miaka kama kumi na nne sasa hivi. The building has been here for around 14 years now. Okay. Yeah. So the need here is uh, in enlargement of the building um, and, and facilities. And uh, we visited the church two years ago in Osiligi, yes. and they have a church there that doesn't have a roof on it. Uh, so there's a need for building uh, mm -hmm. in this land. Is that yes. right? Yeah. That is the greatest need because some of the uh, places have, have buildings not complete. Yeah, more more room is needed, more buildings. Mm. And then 
briefly, you you have a school in Gatto, uh, an elementary school in Gatto. Um, what do you see the needs are for that ch- uh, for that school? Tuna hiyo shule ambayo iko kwa kanisa letu Ngatu na hitaji kubwa sasa ni kujenga madarasa na vyombo vya kusomea kwa watoto ndivyo vitu vinahitajika na kusimamia wale watoto waweze kusoma vizuri. Yeah, there's a school in Ngatu. Uh, the greatest need now is to build classrooms for the kids and uh, to supply materials for them to be able to study. Yeah. Yeah, and just to general running of the school. Yeah. So, um I just I just want to thank you uh, for listening to this video. Uh thank you for Pastor Daniel Lomanak. Uh, he's been a brother and a friend to me. Thank you. And uh, my sister Joanne who invited me. I met I met Joanne in England. It's a small world. Yeah. And and here we are in Kenya. Yeah. So, thank you very much Daniel. Thank you. And and we will uh pray that God blesses the ministry here and increases mm the ministry here amongst the Maasai because they are thirsty for God's word. Mm. So thank you for listening. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.